Um, you could tell they were they were in it. Um, they were energized for each other, and uh, that momentum got it going. And it and really, uh, uh, we had a couple that needed a little bit more fuel in the tank to be able to, to kind of stretch mm -hmm. that group out. But um, that was a group that really um, got it going and, and really gave us a, a great spark to, to get back into it. Well, Coach, now obviously – you have two days of rest before you turn around to Livingston on Monday night. What are some things you look to do in those two days? Two days of your second game here in the Ramsey Center. We've got to learn from video tomorrow um, and then really try to uh, make sure we've got our focus where it needs to be for Livingston. What, we're, um, what we know and understand a little bit and we'll, we'll get some more information is just a lot of penetration again. So, you know, it's going to be good for us to be able to jump back on the floor on Monday and uh, quickly – improve just by knowing what we need to do and, and watching how things were done and, and make sure we're smarter um, with the effort that we're given and, and continue to play at, at an intense really high level. But the energy has to be there for each other and that's something that we've got to really um, make sure. And, and sometimes when you've got different combinations you might lose a little bit of that just because maybe everybody hadn't played together quite as much and we're still learning each other. But you know, at the same time, it comes down to individuals making sure that they're doing the right things in the right places, focus on the right things, and, and everybody's all in at the same time. And that's something that, uh, you know, we can watch and see. And uh, on Sunday, we'll be able to be able to focus a little bit more on Livingstone when we get uh, information from there. But, you know, just disappointed. You know, I really felt like... Uh, uh, we had learned a little bit from Southern Wesleyan and our close scrimmage that we had. And, um, you know, I really wanted our defense to be better and, and definitely rebounding to be a lot better. That's a definite effort focus type thing that can instantly get better. And 17 O boards is uh, going to dig us a hole every single time. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for joining us here on the Carolina Ford Dealers postgame show. And we look forward to seeing you Monday night. Looking for that bounce back effort and should be a good one on Monday. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it. That was Coach Karen Middleton, and now joining us will be Sheree Bonner, our Catamount Sports Network player of the game, and her debut here for the Purple and Gold. And Sheree, first of all, got it going early 16 points, 13 rebounds. Pretty good start to a collegiate career. Yeah, I mean, I would just. You know, it doesn't matter about the points. It matters about the win. Like, it was my night, so I was contributing to my team. Everything, every effort, I was playing defense and doing everything I could to help my team. Well, talk about that effort. What were some of the challenges that North Carolina Central presented? I know you were on Davis for a time athletically, got a couple steals from her. What were some of the challenges they provided, especially inside? Um, they were just big, and they were athletic, and they were tall, just like we were. And they had a lot of penetration that we needed to stop. But, you know, we're just going to have to keep getting better and stop people from penetrating in so it won't be that big of a problem. Coach, how did, or, Sheree, how did your mindset change, obviously, when Erica went down earlier this week, now knowing that you were going to fill that starting lineup in your collegiate debut here tonight? I mean, I just took it in because I knew from then on that I had to take her spot. She was counting on me, and she was depending on me to fill in and help our team. Well, again, tough loss tonight, but again, a great night in your collegiate debut, and we look forward to many great nights to come. Thank you. That was Sheree Bonner here on the Carolina Four Dealers postgame show. A tough loss for Western Carolina tonight, falling 64-59.